Okay, so we have one fan plugged into the USB port and we have two salt lamps. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see how long this goes. Okay, so they've been running for four hours now and we're still at 80%. So yeah, it's doing really well. Those are incandescent bulbs in those lights. So I'll keep you posted. Now I got to tell you folks that um, I got up at three o'clock in the morning and these were still running. Now, when I got up at six, they weren't. But that means they lasted for one to one is 12 and three. These lasted 14 hours running a fan and two lights. Not bad. Next, we'll be charging it solar. Okay. Now, I found out you're not supposed to char uh, let these drop all the way down to zero. You're not supposed to let them go below 20%. So how we had to charge it up a little bit on um, with the plug-in. Whoops. Is there a switch or anything? Okay. So it's at 40%. And we're going to see how long it takes to get to 100% by these solar panels. Now, the sun, isn't, the sun isn't completely on them yet, but it is charging. So, um, in a few minutes, the sun's going to come around and these panels are going to be in full sun. So, we're at 40%. We're at 40%. We want to see how long this takes. There, I've got it in the full sun, except for my shadow. And it's charging. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what it gets to to be full. Now, these panels have been laying in the direct sun for three hours now. Let's see where we are at. It says we are at 100%. Awesome. Awesome. Three hours in the sun, they went from 40% to 100%. That means, I don't want to, I don't want these turned on here. So, these, oh, well, they were at 100%. Let's see where we are. Okay, we're at 100%. So we went from 40% to 100% in three hours in the sun. And since charging it up, Howie has been using it in the motor home at night when he goes to bed to charge his phone. So, and he said it, it didn't even register. His phone went from 20% to full and it didn't even register that the power went down on the Blue Eddy at all. I'm really excited. You guys are gonna see more of the Blue Eddy when we are at the races this summer because they're gonna it's gonna be put through its paces charging running kettles and fans and lights and all that stuff while we're at the racetrack so we don't have to turn the generator in the motorhome on wasting precious gas this is the miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying you know what this blue eddy even though it's only an 800 watt system actually does the job now listen don't let it drop below 20% if you're planning on charging it up with solar panels. Because if it goes down to zero, you're going to have to plug it into something like your car battery, like your car outlet or, or an outlet in the wall to bump it up so that it will charge from solar. It will not charge from zero on solar. The Blue Eddy power station. Good to go. Now I have one for the house and one for the motor home. Shh. score sorry there's no discount codes there's no freebies or anything else this was just a pure preview but it is a good little system and it's not badly priced either so there you go i'll leave the links in the description box below this video take care god bless